All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, the king. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Single pilot tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big body to land. Fighters clinching here early. We expected a lot of this, and no surprise that we're seeing a clinch situation early on in this one. Check. He 
did it right. He got right to the position he needed to in order to start this fight the way that he wanted. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver These down. These guys throwing early. Big kick land. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Big head kick lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? No avail. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big hard punch man. Now we get back in range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Punch is blocked. Just out of range with that right hook. Over and over, he's landing. Big body kick. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. A oh, little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh! Just missed on that spinning attack. Oh, collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Liver kick, those kicks is gonna shut your body off. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Round two coming up next. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed multiple strikes, what a great round of fighting. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage on his opponent will 
force and opening up top where he will look to finish. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, huge head kick. Crisp boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice straight punch. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Huge block there. Plus right hand is true. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch, Lance. Flips the shot. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Try to establish that jab. He engages in the single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Nice punch. There. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big head kick lands. Great punch landing with so much power. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hey, these guys are going at it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick. Rips the body there. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. He'll engage in a single collar tie. And that's the end of round number two. Well, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition.
He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That strike blocked by Lee. That was a thudding leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ooh. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. A oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Superman punch lands. Big leg kick lands. Tough to take down, no problem. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nice head kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, big head kick there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Three minutes now to go in this one. Pretty significant welt to the left side. That's a good right hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that appearance. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, big head kick. Right hand upstairs. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. That's not the point. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high on his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He that comes knee, through with a big knee. He hurt him. Throwing hard in the pocket. Oh! Watch the punch. Got the single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice head kick. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. Liver kick. Oh, a huge block there. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, and he 
continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not gonna trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course. Next round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, a single collar tie here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and. Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in Rock. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. I'm going back right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he caught the kick. Leg kick. Single collar tie now. Nice counter left hook to the head. Oh, big knee. Oh! Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice loop of punch. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from this roll in that kick. Big head kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Two minutes to go in the round. What a body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big punch land. Oh, big knee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Big body kick. Oh, nice. Five's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Ooh, what a punch. 
and they separate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand touch the clinch. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Beautiful me. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at the force. What a that leg kick. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, so I just put a smile on my face. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Left hand punch the clinch. Back in the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, lands a kick there. Oh, oh, he's right there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mom is out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. Fight's done. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big punch from the clip. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Overhand attempt now is blocked by Lee. And they separate. Oh, that right thigh starting to weld some serious bruising going on here. Dig and kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice one, two there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Under three minutes now to go on the fight. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty hook. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, that one checked. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Nice leg kick lands. Beautiful strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, collar tie. Boom. If your 
opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar, guys. Reach back inside and try to find space. Oh, single collar tie here. Just unable to quite find that range. Splits the guard, lands the right. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right hand on point. Back to his feet. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Just missed with that right hand. Big kick lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, oh, those are oh, oh. Oh, big left. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.